Day two, we're back down here at the Burndo project. We're gonna call it Burndominium, but right now it's just kind of a Burndo. I am putting the deck on the front of the building today. If you look up behind me, you're gonna see there's a little ledger board up there that's uh, pressure treated. We're gonna be putting on all the hangers. We're going to be putting the posts in and getting them straightened away. There'll be a header up over top and then uh, all the joists will be in. I don't have the deck planks right now, but we're going to get it all framed in and get ready for decking. And uh, this needs to be done so that I have access to replace this door and that window because neither one of them are any good. They're leaking so bad that uh, it's not going to make any sense to insulate if we don't replace the windows and door. All right, guys. Let's get going. The old rain here is really making it a pain to get anything done in any reasonable amount of time. So we're just going to carry on and get through it like we can. I spend a good percentage of my time looking for tools. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to put up one of these joists, the one closest to where that post is. And then I'm gonna put a vertical board on, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the level on top of the, the joist, this should be cute, because I'm doing it by myself. And then I'm gonna tag that joist in when it's perfectly level with this board. You'll see what I mean. We're gonna support it temporarily, and then we can adjust it later on. Patience is not a virtue. It's a skill set. Oh God, should have done that first, eh? So here's what I'm doing. I've got the level up on top of that joist that's over that post. We know, I know that the beam that's gonna go underneath there is a two by eight beam, so it's seven and a half inches thick. And then the post has to go underneath that on the adjustable screw. The beautiful thing about this is that I'm gonna take the measurement I'm going to minus seven and a half from that, and then I'm going to cut, cut that post to fit in that slot, and I'll be able to put everything up there before I put the rest of the joist in. The reason I'm doing it this way is just to make it easy on myself, even though the initial part looks really hard. But when I cut that post, I'm actually going to cut it an inch short so that I have some adjustability up and down, just in case these uh, sauna tubes decide to heave for some reason. And that'll ensure I have enough adjustability in the post going forward. If they settle, I've got about three and three inches of adjustability up, so we can uh, figure this out over the next six months to a year. We're coming into winter, so this will play out really quick. And I'll do the same for the other side, and we'll get to it. We 
just have to be close-ish. I love batteries. Yes, we're all sad it didn't fall. But we knew that wouldn't happen. That side will go down. So now we have to stand each one of these. The other one from the factory is good height. It's actually uh, just perfect. And with the adjustability of where that's at right now, we've got tons of space in our dilt where you got lucky. Because that song two went in professionally, like just like I planned. And, uh, yeah. I gotta build a couple braces so that I can peg this one so it'll stay vertical. And then we'll put the beam on top. And we'll put the saddles on that. And then we'll temporarily peg it all together, square it, so that they're in the right distance from each other to the wall. Vertical. That's what it needs to be. See how these are horizontal. And then we'll level it all out. Put a few nails into everything and then we'll start building it all up again, bracing it. Okay, so I've got both posts braced so that they shouldn't fall over. So if everything works out properly here, I should have about an inch of room to set the beam in and just settle it in on top. This is where things get a little bit tricky. The beam is crowned, so when I laminate this beam together, uh, both by nails and screws, I kept in mind which way the crown of the wood is, so we got to put the crown on the top so that when the weight of everything comes on it, it'll uh, flatten out and, and stay level. The other thing is, is that this is going to be difficult because I'm listening to this beam by myself up here. It's a triple laminated uh, 2x8 uh, by 10 feet long. The complicated part now is that I have to line it all up to the other board back there by squaring it and at the same time I have to make sure that the vertical posts are completely vertical. So clearly it's got to go that way by quite a ways so we'll start walking it there. Seventy-seven. But the building's not straight, so that doesn't matter. So I just put those temporary tabs on, so it'll hold the board. We're going to start from this side, and I'm just going to tack it on, and then I'll go back and I'll screw it together. This is just the fascia board to cap off the ends. Not a big deal. See? Holds it no problem.
I gotta put the decking on. And I'm not worried about the rails right now. Those will go on after. But uh, the decking's gonna go on because the next step is to remove that window and that door once the decking goes on. It's all braced up. We're gonna do a few knick-knacky things to make sure that it stays there. It is level. I put the level on it. And uh, the building is kind of crooked on its own right. So we did the best we could with what we got. Um, I'm gonna do a few extra things, like I said, in the future, just to kind of make it uh, more happy for me. But we're good, we're all set. Deck day, done. Got some acorns over a tree over there. We're gonna throw these around, see if anything sticks. Never know, maybe we'll have some acorns in it. 30 years.